and gentlemen and beyond, how are you guys doing today? My name is Anima and oh my god! Jesus kick flipping Christ! I'm excited. So one of my fabulous followers on Instagram tagged me in an announcement for the Life is Strange game. And this announcement, as you have seen in the title, is that Life is Strange is potentially going to be adapted into a series, into a live action series. They're working with Legendary Digital Studios and they're discussing stuff and that just makes my nipples hard. And in case you didn't know, or in case you haven't played the game, which I definitely suggest that you do, the first episode it's free on Steam right now, so you can just toddle on over there and play the game for yourself. If your brain is not paced uh, by the end of the, the first episode, or if, if it's not at least intrigued by the end of the first episode, I don't know what to tell you. I wanted to make this video just to kind of talk with you guys about what a live action series of Life is Strange might mean. So immediately, like, if I think about what that might look like, I think of, like, skins. I think of you know, drugs and the terrible relationships, the very unhealthy relationships, the awkward situations and stuff, only with time travel and the cast of truly beloved characters. Uh, I saw Skins back in the day, um, and what convinced me to get into Skins was the, was the lure of a gay couple. I am a gay person, if you can't tell. If you're new to the channel and you don't already know, I am really gay and really married. Emily and Naomi. You'd always have a place in my heart. Admittedly, I did like it for more than that, but I can't lie, that kind of had my attention going at the time, you know. Honestly, I think it'll be good because, like, this is legendary we're talking about. I'm looking at their Wikipedia page right now because doing your research on the fly is extremely professional. They did Pacific Rim, guys, and I really like Pacific Rim. <laughs> Basically, these people know what they're doing. And I don't think that production will be an issue, so I don't think that the time travel is gonna come across as cringe or budget, so that's pretty exciting. What I would like out of a live action Life is Strange, I would like to see the characters portrayed maybe with like just a little bit more finesse because I love them in the game. And I mean, who can forget the timeless gem? Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. I would like them to be faithful to the story, potentially expand upon it, you know. I mean, I'd be curious to see how they would expand upon it because so much of Life is Strange was just like snooping around in other people's stuff and building a picture from there. And you know, Max's journal and stuff like that. It was like always finding pieces to put together. So I don't really know how they would show you know, those gameplay aspects. I mean, obviously it's not- it's not the game anymore, it's like the- it's like live action, but the snooping and the gathering clues and stuff was really important to the game itself. It was like most of the gameplay. I'd like to see some quality interaction, you know, like I'd like to see them expand on Max's relationships. I enjoyed how she kind of slowly got closer to people as it went on. And, you know, she could use her time travel to to sort of abuse, like, <laughs> to kind of know things about people and sort of socially interact with them perfectly. I don't want them to overuse that, kind of, because that wouldn't be very fun to watch. And I would like to see Max bumble around and not necessarily spam her powers, but I doubt they'll do that. I do doubt they'll do that. In a perfect world, I would like them to maybe talk about the storm itself. <laughs> Explain why. <laughs> Explain why any of it. But I don't think that'll happen. That that would be a perfect world. I would love to sit down with the writers and have them just expose everything, everything to me, and including their genitals. Shouldn't have said that. I would like them to to do that, but I really don't think that's gonna happen. And I don't think it's necessary for a live action adaptation. What I would not like to see <laughs> is kind of Life is Strange Hollywooded up or like made really cheesy cheesier i don't want to see any kind of dramatic tone change divergence is fine but it's like game of thrones the book and the show they've definitely got their differences but overall the tone is the same and it's not like a wildly different experience to um 
look at the both of them. And I would like the adaptation of Life is Strange to be very true to the game. I'm saying this because as I'm looking at the stuff they've done, I'm seeing Dracula Untold and that film was terrible. It was really just ridiculous. But you know what? I I'm still gonna trust you guys, okay? I'm still gonna trust you guys. It seems like they're really good at doing like over the top and like superhero and you know really fantastical characters and there's like a very fantastical element to Life is Strange given the storm, given the time travel, but I just really hope it's not too hammed up because the subtlety was really really nice in Life is Strange. Warcraft! Holy shit, they did Warcraft. As for who I would like to see portraying the characters, I'm totally fine as long as Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays Max Caulfield. Folks, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. This wasn't really meant to be sort of funny or like anything. I really just wanted to talk to you guys about this and just like make it known because I really would like to discuss it with you and hear all your thoughts, hear all your feelings. Who would you like to play uh, the characters? We're serious and not so serious. The Rock is a very, very serious pick of mine, however. What would you like to see from this and what would you really, really not like to see? My Let's Play of Life is Strange will be episodically linked in the description. Go and give it a watch if you want to listen to my inane ramblings and terrible, inappropriate jokes. I would greatly appreciate that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, please. But absolutely most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye. Bird has been trapped in here? Are you serious? My love. Okay, right. No, I know you're going to be a little dick about it, so you've got to open the window in advance. We have to scare the bird so it'll go out the window because... God, why has it just been in here the whole time? Maybe we're protecting it from the bird ocalypse is the problem. See, I don't know what I'm doing. Am I helping or hindering? Why is the bathroom 80 billion times more depressing than it was in the other timeline? Bird!